Hello everyone, this is Will from CloudyDayArt.com, 4G Podcast, and it's a quick tutorial on how to record your poem for submitting to Cloudy Day Art or any other poetry podcast out there. Um, today we'll be using Audacity uh, version 1.24. It's, uh, as you see, a free digital audio editor. Uh, it's available from audacity.sourceforge.net. There's actually a newer version out there that's in beta, um, but uh, we'll just go ahead and stick with the, uh, the current stable version, which is uh, 1.24, I believe. But go to the website to double check. Um, the first and foremost, what you'll need is, besides the recording software, is some kind of microphone to actually do the recording. Um, you can get a, a, a decent USB mic. Um, I think Logitech is a, is a good one. I, that's what I started out my podcast with actually a couple years ago. Um, just plug it into USB and you're good to go. Or if you already have a existing webcam, for example, you could uh, use that as well to record um, just use the audio off of that to record. So basically whatever kind of input you have. Some laptops um, also have um, uh, a little little uh, microphone that is included with the laptop as well. So um, yeah, so once you have your microphone plugged in good to go, what you need to do is make sure that your Audacity is set up to actually use that microphone. Um, go to uh, Edit, Preferences, and within Preferences here, uh, you'll see this recording section, and you you want to select the recording device that you need. Um, the playback is not all that important um, for this, these purposes, but it's basically where it would, this is basically your sound card that you use to play it back. But what we want to key in here is the recording section. So you go to um, take the drop down arrow if you don't see your audio your recording device selected. For example, for me myself, I have I'm using Microsoft LifeCam VX3000, which is a webcam. So I'll be using, I'm using the audio off of that to record my sound. Uh, channels, mono or stereo, there's really no reason to choose stereo for an, uh, an audio recording, um, specifically a, uh, just voice only recording, so I'll go ahead and select mono. All these other tabs and all that, you can use these to, for other things, but for a straight recording of audio, this is basically all you'll need to set up. Once you have that, go ahead and down in the bottom corner, click OK, click OK. As you can see, it's uh, picking up my voice here, and so that is showing that it is actually hearing input from my microphone. Um, if for some reason you're not seeing audio here, uh, make sure you have your volume, microphone volume over here set to a decent level. If it's peaking too much, then you want to drop that down some so that you're not um, getting too much input and basically uh, topping off and that will lead to bad sounding as well. Okay, now that you've got it set, set up and you see that you're recording, simply hit the big red recording button. Test 1, 2, 3. This is my poem. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And that is a beautiful poem, don't you think? Okay, so now this is the waveform. This is the actual recording that I just made. And to hear that again, just simply hit the play button to see what you're recording for testing purposes. Here you go. Test one, two, three. This is my poem. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So I have recorded my poem. Listen to that stellar sound. Um, so that, that does bring up a good point. If you are in a noisy room, if you have a noisy computer like I have, this is, is in my normal podcasting computer, then you would have to obviously try to do your best to get the noise down and quiet that out. Um, so yeah, so those are just a couple things you have to consider. Um, if you, if when you're some recording your poems, make sure you're in a quiet room or have a quiet system to do that. Okay, now that you've got the poem, obviously I don't need this particular section here. Test one, two, three. This is um, this is the actual piece of poem I want to use. A B C D E F G. A B C D E F G. So what you can now do is um. You make sure you have the selected tool selected, which is this right here, and then you pretty much cut, you can cut out what you don't want just by uh, clicking and dragging. I want to delete all this part, so I can simply click hit delete button on my keyboard, or I can go to edit, delete, and that moves all that. And uh, I don't need all this end space over here, so I'm gonna highlight that. 
edit, delete, and now I am left with my beautiful poem. A B C D E F G A B C D E F G. Okay, now um, if I wanted to save this whole project for future reference, I hit save project. But I simply just want to export this. You can export it as a pure WAV file, which is uncompressed, which is we also have a large file, um, or you can export it as MP3. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and export it as MP3. And if it's the first time that you're actually using Audacity, then you will have um, the lame encoder, which basically is an encoder that, that changes it from a WAV file to an MP3 file. Uh, so what you'll need to do is uh, download that as well, but all that information will be available to you um, once you download Audacity. There's actually a link in there somewhere that tells you to uh, where to get the lame file. Actually, when you, I believe when you try to record, save as MP3, you'll get that as well. Um, okay, so now you do that, you can save that as MP3. I'm going to save this in my Jot folder. Jot is where I kind of save all my poetry stuff. Um, hey, the, uh, so, yeah, anyway, <laughs> uh, let me go ahead and name this. So you're going to name the file name. I will name this ABC. ABC. Hit save. You can put in some ID3 tag information here. Uh, this is the ABC poem. Basically, this tells you uh, when you put in your MP3 player, this will be what's scrolling across the bottom there. Alright, okay, and none of this really matters, but this is just options you have. So once you have that other information in there, hit OK. It has exported it to my uh, folder, so now I can go ahead and take that file and email it out. Uh, actually, let me go ahead and uh, play that for you real quick. Okay, I am now in that folder where I have uh, all my poems and other uh, MP3s and recordings and things like that. Uh, so there it is. There's that file. It's in uh, abc.abc. So click on it so you can bring it up here. Okay, so now I have a recorded poem using Audacity, and I can now take that file and email it out to Will at CloudyDayArt.com or to whoever your favorite uh, poetry podcaster is. And this has been a quick tutorial on how to use Audacity to record a poem.